Good morning, Bitcoin! Today is Thursday, April 3rd, 2014, at 10 13 a.m. in St. Paul, Minnesota. Mad Bitcoins. Life begins here. Mad Bitcoin Subscriber Index 3152. Here are today's Mad Bits. Bitcoin prices continue to search for the floor, with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 430, a high of 444, and a low of 414. Litecoin is at $10.70 a coin. This episode of Mad Bitcoins is sponsored by viewers like you. Special thanks to donors 0 0.0005, 0 0.007655, 0.0018, and donor 0 0.1. Mad Bitcoins thanks you for your generous support. We are on the verge of Bitcoin mass adoption. Things aren't so bad if you zoom the chart out and remember that for a long time, Bitcoin was below $100. It's only been recently that it's been above $400. VC money continues to flow into Bitcoin. None of the businesses that support Bitcoin have shut down except for Magic the Gathering online exchange and who needs them anyway? None of the miners have turned off their mining machines. Bitcoin endures. And as you can see from this chart, we're still in an uptrend. If the price drops below 400, that would change. But as you can see from this morning, we went down to about 416 before bouncing right back up to 450. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. London's iconic O2 venue to host Bitcoin Fight Night. A Bitcoin debate kickboxers, and Max Kaiser dressed in full body spandex fighting JP Morgan Chase's CEO, Jamie Diamond, or a representative of Jamie. My money's on Max. He might not have the reach or the height, but he's tenacious, and I don't think he'll go down easy, much like Bitcoin. Check it out this weekend if you're in London at the Indigo O2 Theater near the Big Dome. Tickets still available. This is going to be the Bitcoin fight of the century, and they're having a Bitcoin debate beforehand. Come for the debate and get a discount on fight tickets. The Bitcoin debate is free and will be broadcast live on the World Crypto Network at worldcryptonetwork.com. This weekend, Bitcoin fight night. Well, for those of us on the West Coast, Bitcoin fight Saturday morning, but I'll be there in spirit live tweeting and helping out with the Hangout. My thank yous to everyone involved for their hard work. And if this is your first time hearing about it and you're in the London area, please buy tickets and ask your friends to do so as well. The organizers could probably also use your help setting up, etc. So get involved, London. This is your chance to take the world stage and show people what Bitcoin Fight Night is all about. I predict this will only be the first Bitcoin Fight Night event in the future. All kickboxing prizes will be in Bitcoin. Bitcoin could strengthen the world economy if Washington doesn't destroy it. You can avoid reality, but you can't avoid the consequences of avoiding reality. Ayn Rand. The government would be wise to heed Miss Rand's word, and as Andreas says, not stomp on the gecko, because if you do, it will only grow up to be a dragon and a dragon who dislikes you. Much like the current situation where the media companies refuse to work with Napster and now are becoming extinct. The dinosaurs didn't have telescopes. They never saw the asteroid coming. San Jose Earthquake soccer team embraces Bitcoin. Major League Soccer now has Major League Bitcoins as the San Jose Earthquakes will be accepting Bitcoin for ticket sales and for team gear. Not for concessions, though. If you want to eat, you still have to drag around that old paper money. This is the second major professional sporting team to accept Bitcoin just behind the Sacramento Kings who, spoiler alert, I'll be going to see this weekend. And you guessed it, 
I paid in Bitcoin. Getting a nice t-shirt too that says Kings and Bitcoin on it. Looking forward to sitting in the Bitcoin section too with my fellow Bitcoiners. And San Jose, don't feel too left out because you're only a short car drive away. So let's set something up where we can all go see the quakes in style and cheer for our new Bitcoin accepting team. The International Bitcoin Sporting League currently has two teams, the Kings and the Earthquakes. Who's next? Who's next? Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoin. Mad Bitcoins, Mad Bitcoin.